Update 2 on Super Typhoon Nuri, which now has winds of 180 miles per hour and a pressure of 907 millibars. Its positions 18.5 degrees north, 132.6 degrees east. As of 2 a.m. UTC, November the 3rd, it's the 33rd strongest storm ever recorded and is heading towards the northeast right now. And it could possibly intensify even more yet. Uh, the forecast is still for intensification, possibly to 195 miles per hour which would be the joint highest ever reliably recorded uh, with Haiyan last year. The storm is expected to move towards the northwest as I said before affecting the Japanese Itsu Islands and possibly the mainland as it passes that region as a category 3 storm and then moves out to sea uh, where it will eventually turn post tropical in around four or five days time. Uh, right now the sea surface temperatures are still very warm, around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius, um, even warmer waters further towards the south, and 26 degree waters extend as far north as the um, Ryukyu Islands, Okinawa, that region, but not as far as the Japanese mainland. Uh, as far as wind shear is concerned, extremely high amounts and increasing over Japan uh, and not too far north of the storm, I should expect that it will begin to affect the cyclone very soon. Uh, dry air is also off to the uh, west of the storm over the Philippines and Taiwan, but that's not having too much of a profound effect at this moment in time. The CMC computer model uh, takes the storm a little bit towards the east before moving towards the north and then moving towards the northeast. Uh, and then a new storm forming behind that as well, uh, near Guam, uh, and moves towards uh, what looks like uh, over the Philippine Sea. And also a new storm in the Bay of Bengal as well. GFS agrees with the latter um, and takes the storm nearly off towards the coast of Japan beyond coast of Japan and then dissipates, uh, turns post-tropical eventually. Uh, that one does take it quite close to the coast though, uh, the GFS model, so something to watch out for if you're in southeastern Japan. At uh, the satellite imagery you can see how the storm's been going in the past few hours. Daylight has broken since the last update uh, and it's looked very ferocious indeed uh, in between the uh, two updates from Force 13, the one 12 hours ago and uh, now. And uh, yes, certainly a very strong storm it remains. Now moving towards the north or northeast, a little bit of an easterly element on it before it was a westward element. Uh, but yes, intensification, further intensification could still be on the cards. I think it's going to be a 50 50 chance on that happening uh, as opposed to the storm weakening. But whichever way you look at it, a category 5 storm of any intensity is going to be uh, powerful beyond belief. As of November the 3rd at 2 a.m. UTC, Vance is intensifying. A category 1 hurricane with winds of 90 miles per hour could also could even be higher uh, by the next um, update from the National Hurricane Center. Of course, we have the two inverse either side of these big storms, uh, 97W and 94E in the Eastern Pacific. We've seen 72 tropical storms form in the 2014 so far this year. 42 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents around the world, a level with 1995. And Category 3 storms, 25 of those um, this year so far. Also worth pointing out that the Eastern Pacific has seen more hurricanes this year than ever before. That can't be said for the Western Pacific, though, even though we have had two spectacular storms. Uh, and you can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, is the main place to be for all the goings-on around the world, storm-wise. Of course, the video pages also will keep you up to date as often as possible. You should be down the motion to search Force 13 on those. And the social platforms, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 there as well. You'll probably see more regular updates on there than the videos. Uh, and, of course, you can speak to me personally on Skype at Force. 13 for tropical weather chat on there um, whenever I am at the desk here. Uh, the next update on this storm will follow. There may be a mobile update during the day if necessary tomorrow, but if not, 24 hours time or at 9pm UTC November the 3rd.